This is the integrated math one practice test for TN Ready in the 2019-20 version of this practice test. It's question number 17. If you're watching this and it's not question number 17, the title has a different question number. It's because they've used the same question over. Then they changed the number in a new test, and I don't want to reshoot it for that kind of change. Anyway, Samantha owns a local ice cream stand. She recorded the high temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit and her ice cream sales in dollars for eight consecutive days. Her results are shown in the table and scatter plot below. Now, I mean, these temperatures are everywhere. Uh, 69 degrees all the way up to 93. There's a 68 in here. Uh, it's kind of everywhere, but lots of 70s. She does relatively well once it gets above 80. This was a little of a weekday, but 84 and 212, 93, she made a lot of money. But anyway, here is the scatter plot related to that. Because of the nature of the question, they want you to write an equation to represent the line of best fit for this data and round to the nearest tenth. Now, because they want it to be so precise, the idea that they gave you the scatter plot is not great because you'd have to, even if you could sort of get a feel for it by hand drawing it, you'd have to be extremely accurate and it's a giant mess. One thing that you could do, however, is see that if we're going to sort of balance these out, oops, I wasn't even close to a straight line, you're probably going to have to, if we went from zero, there's almost no way to capture the whole feel of it, so you're probably going to end up dropping below that zero line, so maybe a negative. Um, B value for a linear regression. I'm going to use a calculator here. It's the quickest way to do it. Um, so just be aware. Because I, do, I don't openly dislike any of you, I didn't want to make you sit here and watch me type in numbers. So I have a TI-84. I'm going into the stat menu and I'm going to look at edit. I've gone ahead and typed all these in. That's how you can tell I don't openly disdain your time. Um, I've typed in all of the things ahead of time. Now we're going to do a linear regression because we're trying to find a line of best fit. Line of best fit. So I'm going to go in and hit stat again. Go over to calc. Click down into where I get linear regression. And hit the X list, just make sure that your X and Y list match up. If you didn't notice, up here is where they are, L1 and L2. Occasionally when you do a delete uh, of an entire column, it'll change those those values, so you need to go and make sure that they, they match up the way you want them to. So anyway, calc here, linear regression. L1 and L2 is fine. I don't need to score the anything, so I'm going to calculate it. And here it is. So it tells me that for this question, I need to sort of take y equals ax plus b, which is mx plus b everywhere else on earth, but they've identified the variables as such. y is equal to, and they want this rounded to the nearest tenth, by the way. So 4.7 would be the a, x. And then this is negative 214.3, so you need to put minus 214.3. Could you get away with plus negative? Probably. If you wanted to put plus negative, that, that's fine, but it's easier just to put the minus. And that's what you put in the little box below. Let me get this out of the way. Just like that. They will take anything for plus minus 0.1. So if you did, even though they want you to round it, if you had for some reason picked 4.8 or 4.6, they'd be okay with it. And uh, you don't have to use an X. You can use any other. You could use S if you wanted to or whatever. They don't really care which one that you use, but they do care that you have these numbers within a tenth. So this would be um, if you did 214.8. Uh, yeah, 214.3, that's fine. If you did two point, uh, 214.2, that's fine. If you did, for some reason, 214.4, you'd also be able to kind of get away with that, most likely. But just be aware that that is an option for you to have, and uh, that's number 17.